Um, what's the excitement? <laughs> um, I'm super excited. I've never had an NCAA tournament at home. I got to travel to Purdue last year, but it was the first experience, so being at home court is a crazy advantage. <laughs> you look at how you guys have performed here this season, do you feel like this is something you can take forward? Yes, definitely. Um, we are undefeated on our home court, so we're going to take advantage of the crowd that we get and the atmosphere in here. And um, we were talking about how it's going to be a neutral site, but I just know our fans are going to bring it, so it'll help us. What, what did you learn last year? I know you didn't play in the NCAA tournament, but what did you learn last year from that experience? I just find that every team is bringing their um, full power and best ability, so we need to come out playing our best no matter what. Last year we got taken down by the Flyers, but this year we're ready to bring it hard no matter who we're playing. You grew up in Watson, right? Yes. How many people would come to like your high school? Would you, would you estimate? Maybe at max, maybe like 100. I don't know, not too many. <laughs> that was maybe for the regional finals. <laughs> so what's it like adjusting to playing that for you? I think you have 3,000 plus people here for the Creighton game. It might be the same on Thursday. Yeah, Friday. it was it was crazy. I kind of stopped and looked around for a second during the game, and I saw everyone like waving the rally rags, and it just I got chills. I was like, I've never experienced thing, experienced anything like this. So like. Me playing on the court, like I've been at games and I've seen people play, but I've never been the one that people have been watching. How do you manage your emotions? Um, I just kind of take a deep breath and remember what's going on on the court, and, like know that I'm playing my game. Could you fit all of Hancock, Wisconsin in here? hundred percent. It's unincorporated. There's like a hundred people. With the season you on and some streaks, what was so successful during this? Um, definitely just keeping the same attitude. We're a very like neutral team. I don't think we have too many highs and lows while we're playing, and that helps us in these big streaks that we keep our mentality and keep playing hard no matter what. But we don't have to suffer from if we're playing really hard and then all of a sudden we get blocked. We don't suffer from a big emotional change that we can just keep playing and we bring up that energy again. It's pretty cool. Um, I know Ryan said that they're in the MAC conference, so he played them a lot in Ohio, but um, we don't know anyone on the team besides what we learned in the scouting report, so it's kind of cool to see new people and learn new players. We just talked to Yadi, she was the center of the year in the Yes. Yeah. Just what has she brought to this team? What do you like about playing? Um, she's definitely brought a lot of energy to our team. She is constantly very positive on her court and just brings the energy on her own. There's times where we'll get stuck in a rut, just like we were at Creighton. I would say um, beginning of the fourth set, we needed to bring up the energy, and she really helped us bring that. Um, we just have so many leaders, and it really helps bring it out in the court, like you said, with having so many um, big youth players. We all bring our own energy. I know um, with Aubrey Hamilton, she's new, coming from Notre Dame. She brings just a different atmosphere, and she's finding a new love for the game. And it's just cool to see someone experience a really fun time on the court, and that just makes the rest of us have a really good time. Um, I, constantly, you hear people saying that we're just smiling constantly on the court. So I think all five of us as leaders are just trying to bring a good attitude, and it helps us in the long run. You mentioned that this team's very neutral, but can you speak on the competitive fire that you guys have? I'm sure when there's a team down the road that everybody talks about when it comes to volleyball, is there a little fierceness in saying, okay, we're gonna put our name in that bucket too? Yes, definitely. We are a young team and we're trying to prove our point and say that we're in this to win it. So I think all of us have a little fire under our butt ready to just run for it and see how far we can get in this tournament. We were all stoked that we were hosting. So I think it's gonna be super fun to see how far we go. What's it going to take to get out of this first weekend and make it to the Sweet 16? I think it's going to take a lot of competitiveness coming from the whole team. We are all going to have to drive and put 100% into every play. We can't ease up because we don't know what to expect, so we're just going to have to give 110% always. I'm from the state, what do you think Wisconsin Mark has been so successful in developing big-time big coverage? I just think the volleyball atmosphere in Wisconsin is unreal compared to everywhere else in the United States. Um, it's 100% more competitive than anywhere I've ever been. And so just being like from this home state, it helps bring a lot of um, great volleyball players into the area. And I know that Ryan really tries to recruit locally just because there's so many great athletes in the area. And then I know Wisconsin has a couple um, really great players like Liz Gregorski who's from Appleton, Wisconsin, so 